Hi, welcome to another Retro Repair. This one is going to be really quick. I brought this 1541C drive. Uh, again, untested. £45 plus delivery. And, and that was it. So I've got it connected up to one of the Commodore 64Cs. And initially, and I didn't have a data lead. So I first made my own. Uh, brought parts from the future was 8-bit and he sent me the cable so that I could solder it up what a legend but then I actually brought a proper one because I didn't trust my own work soldering those thin connectors is the right pain so anyway let's switch this on if we power up the drive so we get green light which is good the red light comes on goes off and the motor spins so that's normal operation for one of these drives. If we then switch on the Commodore, Commodore sends the reset signal and again the drive comes on, goes off, everything is okay. If I then try to load something, so just I load what's on the directory, I know there's no disk in there, You see, nothing happens on the drive at all. And the Commodore just does nothing. It sits there and waits and waits. It won't do anything. It doesn't give any more errors. No flashing lights on the drive. I looked through a couple of guides and spoke to some people and they told me the chips to look for. So if we look at the board, we have the processor, 6522 which I believe is for controlling the motors and then the 6522 which handles communications to and from the Commodore we then have these two chips the HD 7406 which are inverted Smith triggers and rather than bitting and bobbing I took all of all three of those out and all three of these chips out and uh, put sockets on and then I had spare processors and a spare 6522 so I tested those and uh, I also put the HD7406 into the Mini Pro and the Mini Pro found that uh, circuit 5 was bad on one of them so I ordered two 74 LS06 chips. So let's put those in and run the test again. Okay, uh, power on the drive, green light's okay, red light comes on and goes out. Power on the Commodore, drive resets. File not found. And we, we're getting activity on the drive and also the heads moved which they didn't move before so my next thing was to test the drive so I've got the dead test cartridge and I've actually converted it by just putting in a bigger EEPROM and uh, soldering on the jumpers so that I can do dead test and also do normal diagnostics and 1541 diagnostics. So let's run this and do some more testing. So uh, power on the drive, power on the Commodore, and now it boots into the 1541 drive. So I'm putting in the disc. I have a load of discs that I brought for the BBC, and some of them weren't labelled, and I've tested some. I've managed to find some that are working, so if we do a performance test So that's formatted okay, and now it's going to do some read and write tests And that's passed.
and I, I found I found four other discs out of that list that also work uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy now replacing the HD7406 at UB1 and UD1 got this drive working again I've also cleaned it inside I've cleaned the circuit board and I've lubricated the moving parts of the drive the only thing that's left to do is retrowrite this front part because it's quite yellowed but yeah I think that's another lucky repair with an untested eBay purchase I think that's it so thank you for watching this quick 1541 repair and I'll see you again soon